So Dead by Daylight just released a new killer, and everybody on the internet is super excited and hyped to try out the new killer, and they think it looks sick and all that jazz. That was a joke. The internet, of course, blew up as usual over something that doesn't even make sense, because why not? It's in typical fashion for the internet. The new killer for Dead by Daylight is known as the Unknown. Um, essentially, it's just a grotesque like monster that takes the form of anybody that it kills. Um, it has multiple skins in the game, um, one with like a pink skirt or something like that, another with like a business uniform out on. It kind of looks like casual wear um, and a couple other ones. Uh, and everybody was looking at it and instead of thinking like, wow, that's a really grotesque monster, they decided to go about the route of speculating the lore on the monster for some reason, even though I feel like the studio behind Dead by Daylight does a really good job at being detailed in the lore that they create for all of the killers. Um, I mean, I know like the Huntress, her lore is super awesome, uh, so on and so forth. Like there's a bunch of other, I know the Trapper has really cool lore. And so it's really strange to me that people would just jump the gun. I mean, it's the internet, so of course this always happens, but it's really strange to me that people would just jump the gun um, and go ahead and try to speculate the lore on the character. So people were saying that the voice actor for the unknown is transgender um, and he did or she did. I don't know. I'm just going to say they. Anyways, they did the voice for the unknown and didn't know what the monster was going to look like or the killer and didn't see any gameplay, didn't see the design, didn't even know the concept behind it with the exception of this is the voice we're looking for. Can you do it in two different tones? I believe they asked the voice actor to do it in a, kind of like a male voice and then also a female voice um to kind of match the different skins that are put on the character or on the killer i should say um and in my opinion i think that's really cool uh, i always think it's really cool when skins and games have different sounds um and things like that uh, a common one that i always see is lucio in overwatch lucio has a, a jazzy skin where when you equip it you hear different music um, i think that's a super cool concept having different voices or even voice lines like whole different voice lines depending on skins it's unique it adds something new to the game and it's always changing so anyways back to the topic um basically the lore for the unknown is that it's just a grotesque beast uh, like i was saying that takes the form of anybody that it kills but people were likening it to a trans person who committed suicide there's a bunch of speculation that the unknown was a, formerly like a trans person who seems to have died by hanging themselves, which, I mean, if you're looking too deep into it, you probably could come to that conclusion. I can understand it because of the way that the neck is shaped on the character. But at the same time, I mean, given that you know the lore behind it, why would you even speculate that in the first place? Like, why would you even jump to that conclusion, I guess, is my, you know, first thought. It's kind of like, I think it's just projection. I think it's one of those things where for some reason the community sits back and because nobody is saying anything, there must be a joke here or there must be something fucked up here and it must be about them. I think people just need to get their heads out of their asses and stop being so self-centered. I uh, understand that not everything is about you. Maybe they just wanted to design what I believe is a super cool fucking concept. I think that's super cool. Like a kill, a monster that takes the foot. Like if you read the lore, even just reading the lore for the unknown, I'm actually going to pull it up really quick. Cause I'm super curious. Cause I read it earlier today. I just don't remember off the top of my head. So yeah. So like some of the lore is that it's about a character named Olivia and that her master's thesis was on urban legends and their origins. She believed they shared similar similarities with traditional folklore and picked one to illustrate her point. The unknown was believed to be a mysterious evil. So heinous and investigating it almost immediately invited death. And it basically just details how she went to like a motel and I think she drew a picture of what the unknown was supposed to look like or at least look like in her mind and she stared at her door like kind of in you know just anxiously um thinking that it was going to bust through at any moment and kill her. And then in the middle of the night she heard a voice coming from her bathroom that was like beckoning her um and she ended up like seeing I think she said tentacles, I think it says tentacles here or something like that. Hold on. So she opened the door, saw a shape with tentacles, um, and then it went into the darkness like a dying shadow. And she stared intently at the black abyss that yawned before her, and she wasn't sure what to do. Part of her wanted to run, but the other part wanted to know more. 
so on and so forth. Long story short, she basically went into the mist, I think is what it's called in Dead by Daylight, if I'm correct. I think it's called the mist, right? And she was captured by the very beast that she was studying. And that's the lore behind the unknown. No part of it says that, oh, it's got something to do with a lady that hung herself. It's got something to do with a man that hung himself. And that's, I feel like that's a really good point is that if we're projecting, I could very easily go ahead and say, oh man, the studio behind Dead by Daylight, I really have to figure out their name. This is mad rude that I'm making a video on their game and don't even know who made it. Behavior Interactive. Okay, cool. I could very well sit back and say that Behavior Interactive must be making fun of the male suicide like epidemic that's going on because they have a character whose neck is disfigured so and he looks like a man. So, of course, they're making fun of male suicide or men's suicide, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. The point is, is that men are committing suicide at a higher rate than almost any other demographic. And for me to sit back and to project myself into something that doesn't even make sense is just stupid. And I feel like that's exactly what's going on here. Another thing that I want to mention is that so I used to follow Dead by Daylight relatively heavily. Uh, a friend of mine actually got me into the game and I liked it a lot. I thought it was super fun. Um, and I used to follow them on like Instagram, Twitter, things like that. And I always remember seeing a bunch of posts about them interacting with essentially like the LGBT community about them being super like adding things into the game for Pride Month. I believe they even added in like a gay character for representation, so on and so forth. Like these things that people constantly talk about that they want to see themselves in the games more, so on and so forth. And the studio has done exactly that going so forth as so far, I'm sorry, to actually put forth creators you know who just so happen to fit into those categories and promote them put them you know i guess on the front lines so one could say interact with them give them inside looks at the game so on and so forth so for people to sit back and look at all the goodwill that the studio has done for the community specifically for this community and then to think that because of a new killer or the way that the new killer looks that they're suddenly slapping them in the face, I think is really dumb and kind of like backwards on itself. It doesn't make much sense to me. Why would they just flip on a dime like that? Considering that you've seen like the track record that they have, you suddenly think that they're just going to go ahead and flip around like that doesn't it doesn't click in my mind personally. I mean, people have crazier things have happened in the world. Don't get me wrong, but. I don't think this is one of them. Ultimately, I haven't played Dead by Daylight in a very long time, uh, almost two years now, but I was actually thinking about downloading it again and getting back into it. I always get that little itch that I want to scratch. I think the unknown is probably something that I'm going to try out um, just because I've finally uh, like seen gameplay of him. I think he came out like two days ago or a day ago or something like that, and I finally got around to like actually watching um, information about him and gameplay and so on. I think it looks pretty cool. So... I'm going to go ahead and check it out, and uh, and yeah, I think that's about it. Peace. So the actual voice actor for The Unknown came out and put out a statement regarding the character, and it goes like this. Regarding my recent viral witch hanging, I voiced the character The Unknown and did by daylight. At the time of voicing, it was a great experience. I was told at the time I was voicing the character that there was no model and that the creature was supposed to be amorphous. They had no model design before I recorded my lines, so it's my assumption that the design team took my medical history and my ability to use multiple voices as an opportunity to create character models that encapsulate my medical history as trans and capitalize on catering to the transphobic community. I was tricked into voicing a stereotype. Since yesterday, I've been virally harassed for being trans by thousands of people. Many folks in the trans community are up in arms over this, and rightfully so. I feel that reparations from the team, I'm sorry, from the team that deliberately tricked me is the only logical next step Next choice of action. I am so upset, so infuriated that people are comparing trans people to these clearly transphobic character skins. If I had, holy shit, there's more. Okay, here we go. I found the rest. If I had any idea of the fallout that would happen after simply voicing a character, I never would have in the first place. Let me personally apologize to anybody who has been a victim of transphobia due to this release. Please know you are loved. Know that you are valid. As for me, I am not okay. This has ruined my reputation, has put me physically at risk for being attacked in public. If anybody recognized my face or voice, there were no diversity consultants on this project. The company knew that making a stereotypical man in a dress as a character and having a trans voice actress voice it would bring lots of money and people back to the game. I'm not dumb. I know how marketing works. This seems to be a huge ploy in the trans community along with myself were the victims. So I think this whole statement is just stupid. I'm just going to be blunt about it. It really doesn't make much sense to me that you would demand reparations for what is, you know, essentially like for essentially doing your job. You're a voice actor. 
they didn't even i'm sure they probably just had a concept together for the killer i don't think they had the specifics and everything planned out even if they did it's not their obligation to show that to you and then finally the idea that they went into like your medical history and used that as like a core for designing the character is really stupid that is just dumb it doesn't even make sense i think you're actually brain dead for even post having the audacity to post that on the internet because i don't think anybody has ever done that in the history of like character design unless they were basing it off of themselves because i don't even think they could go into your medical history that has to violate some kind of law but i'm not a fucking lawyer the point being is that you can't come out here and make these ludicrous claims and then expect us to suddenly side with you another note that i want to make is that zoe mentions that she's at risk for physical harm um please don't go do that don't physically i don't think you should harass anybody on the fucking internet anyways i think you're actually stupid if you go out there and you waste your time arguing on the internet which isn't even a real fucking place and like find enjoyment in that i think it's weird the next thing i will say is that if you physically attack somebody over a video game i think you need to like be put down actually like we need to start introducing that kind of method for these people because holy shit the world is fucked i don't know there were a couple statements that i saw on twitter or i say statements like they're fucking official they're just tweets i saw a couple tweets that on twitter that i'm gonna just show on screen because i thought that they were actually pretty good like one uh a tweet actually said that the voice actor happened to be transgender they didn't hire the voice actor because they were transgender um and there's actually a huge difference um so that's basically it. See ya.